Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Eric Green, Director of the National Human Genome Research Institute, and I want to welcome all of you to the last of a series of special events um, for 2013. Um, with 2013 being a celebratory year for genomics, celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Watson Crick discovery of the double helical structure of DNA, and also celebrating the 10th anniversary of the completion of the Human Genome Project. And as many of you know, NHGRI had a series of events to commemorate uh, the importance of this year. Um, and included in that were a series of uh, what will be called pair seminars or pair talks uh, that have occurred over the last few months, and in addition to a day-long symposium. And this uh, today is the last of those pair talks. Um, but before I introduce the speakers, I do want to point out that uh, while these are all the special events we had here, um, the other major uh, development in 2013 commemorating this special year is the opening of this exhibition at the National Museum of Natural History uh, that represents a partnership between NHGRI and the Smithsonian Institution. And that exhibition, uh, which is entitled Genome Unlocking Life's Code, will open in mid-June. And I want to invite all of you to please come to it and all the people that will watch this on video to remind them that it will be at the Smithsonian's Natural Museum of, National Museum of Natural History for a little over a year, starting in mid-June, and then it will tour North America for four years. And uh, it's going to well be worth seeing, so please uh, make sure you take it. If you want to know where it is at the museum, it's in Hall 23, 23 human pairs of chromosomes, easy to remember. Um, also, or, or if you just find your way to the Hope Diamond, the number one most visited exhibition at the museum. Go to the Hope Diamond and take a left, and then it's immediately next to it. It's going to be really easy to remember. Any case, so that's, that's coming up in June. But today, uh, the focus is on um, our last two speakers in this uh, series, which in many ways, as you will see, I think very much nicely highlight the broad scope of genomics research. Uh, the one other anecdote before I introduce the, the two speakers, the reason they were selected in this topical area was selected was uh, to interdigitate our 2013 celebratory year, um, for the reasons I've already told you, uh, with the beginning of, uh, of a set of events uh, that will commemorate uh, the 10th anniversary of uh, the social and behavioral research branch um, that's here in our intramural research program, something that uh, uh, was created uh, about a decade ago when I was actually the scientific director of the institute and recruited Colleen McBride to come join the institute as one of our intramural branch chiefs, and she created this new social and behavioral research branch, and they are beginning their, their celebration. NHGRI just loves to commemorate and celebrate. It's just, a, it's just, it's in our DNA. We just love it. So that's why these two speakers uh, were selected in particular for today. It's a fitting way uh, to, end, uh, uh, to end our part of of this 2013 celebration related to the Human Genome Project and Watson and Crick and so forth. So let me tell you about our two speakers and the way we've done these is each speaker then will give their presentation and then we'll have discussion, question, answers to both of them together. So the first speaker is Dr. Carolyn Lerman, who is the Mary W. Calkins Professor in the Department of Psychiatry and the Annenberg Public Policy Center of the University of Pennsylvania. She's also director of the Center for Interdisciplinary Research on Nicotine Addiction at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Lerman also serves as deputy director of the Abramson um, Cancer Center at University of Pennsylvania, and she's a past president of the Society for Research on Nicotine and Tobacco. Dr. Lerman received her PhD in clinical psychology from the University of Southern California, after which she pursued an internship in the clinical medical, psych in clinical medical psychology at Boston Veterans Administration Medical Center. She is an elected member of the Institute of Medicine, and among her numerous other honors, she has received the American Psychological Association Award for Outstanding Contributions to Health Psychology, the American Society for Preventative Oncology Joseph Cullen Award for Tobacco Research, the Aston, Alton Alschler uh, Award for Research Relating to Smoking and Health, the American Cancer Society Cancer Control Award, and the William Osler Patient Oriented Research Award. She served on the NCI Board of Scientific Advisors and also the NHGRI National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research and is a current member of the National Institutes on Drug Abuse Advisory Council. Dr. Lerman's research focuses on the genetic and neural substrates of uh, nicotine addiction phenotypes with a focus on smoking cessation and therapeutic response. And I also point out from an NHR perspective that she was involved in one of the first ELSI consortia, Ethical Re Legal Social Implications Research Consortia, dealing with the implications of BRCA1 testing and was a major voice for the importance of behavioral and social science research in this area. 
Our second speaker is Dr. Alexandra Shields, and she is the director of the Harvard Massachusetts General Hospital Center on Genomics, Vulnerable Populations and Health Disparities. She's also associate professor of medicine at the Harvard Medical School, associate professor of healthcare policy at Massachusetts General Hospital, and associate faculty in molecular and population genetics at the Broad Institute. Dr. Shields co-directs the Health Disparities Research Program of the Harvard Clinical and Translational Science Center, is an executive committee member of the Dana-Farber Harvard Cancer Center's Reduction of Cancer Risk and Disparities Program, and serves as an ad on advisory boards of several NIH and university-based research initiatives addressing genomics and health disparities. Dr. Shields received her PhD in health policy from Brandeis University, where she was a Pew Health Policy Scholar. She also received her BA and MA in Syst Systematic Theology um, from Boston College. Dr. Shields' research addresses the challenges of clinical integration of new genomic medicine and technologies into clinical practice, with a particular focus on the impact of these changes on minority and underserved populations. She has conducted several national surveys addressing the preparedness of primary care physicians to incorporate genomic medicine into practice more generally, access to established genetic tests at safety net provider sites, and consumers' willingness to undergo genetic testing. Dr. Shields also studies important ethical aspects of genomics research design, including the use of race constructs in genomics research and the inclusion of environmental measures most important to understanding health disparities in gene-environment interaction studies. So as you can see, we have two stellar speakers to teach us about these important areas um, to wrap up uh, this uh, series of lectures. So I think we'll start and ask Dr. Lerman to please come to the podium and welcome her. Thank you.